Starting in our market headliner, Chris Heisey is the chief investment officer at Merrill and Bank of America Private Bank. He joins us now. Chris, great to see you. Great to see you, Melissa. You know, I was reading over the notes, Chris, and, and you, you think that P.E. contraction is mostly done. We're at 15 and a half right now. But the entry point for the markets, you see the next one or the first one being in six to nine months. Why not now if that contraction is largely over? Well, there's a few things to consider here. I know that there's a huge focus on whether or not we're going into recession or not. I think uh, the bigger focus should be more, more or less on the magnitude of potential earnings decline. So if you think about the next six to nine months, there's three episodes that investors should be watching. First one is right now. Uh, so to your point, in between the June Fed meeting and the July Fed meeting, we're going to get a good look on what corporate earnings are going to be on a forward guidance basis for the third quarter. We're going to get the second quarter announcements coming out. Companies will likely take this as an opportunity um, to, to discuss the strong dollar, the higher labor costs, the higher input costs, et cetera, and then start to reset earnings. So we think that that's your first entry point for investors who are now underweight equities or neutral for the long haul. Start to think about adding to equities at that point. The second entry point quickly, uh, somewhere around the fall, that's just after Jackson Hole in August, and that's up ahead of the potential reset to earnings for all of 2023. And then the last one we think, uh, just on a timing basis, is more or less in the spring of 23, when the Fed could basically say, we're done. What I think is interesting about what you said, Chris, is that you made clear that this advice in terms of the entry point is specifically for investors who are underweight equities. What if you're fully allocated to equities? What's your, you know, what's your path then? Yeah, fully allocated investors right now uh, hopefully are playing defense, uh, are more diversified than they have been in the prior cycle, are getting ready for a whole new regime that we're just beginning, which is a real asset appreciation, starting with energy and other commodities. That may be actually uh, a little bit painful from last week, but certainly that's an entry point. So if you're fully allocated right now uh, on a sector basis, you want to play both defense and offense. On the defensive side, healthcare, a little bit as it relates to some of the more defensive technology names for the long haul, and then ultimately utilities, which will provide you some dividends. And then on the offensive side, in the real asset spectrum of energy, take the opportunity when you see weakness in energy, sizable free cash flow rising, uh, buybacks happening, raising dividends, capital discipline, and it's just the beginning of that story.